let's try to answer some word problems involving addition and subtraction. So for this first problem, Jane is saving 30,000 pesos to buy PS5. She saved 13,285 pesos last month. She saved 15,864 pesos this month. How much more does she need to save? So for this problem, let's try to do the model first. We have... Um, So, total money that you need to save is 30,000 pesos. We already have about um, 13,285 pesos last month and about 15,864 this month. So we're looking for how much should see uh should Jane still save. So let's try to do this one first. Um I'll be showing you different ways to solve this. So M1 means the first method. So what's the first method? It's to get the total savings first and then subtract it from 30,000 pesos. So that would be um, 30,000 minus 13,285 pesos minus the sum of 13,285 pesos and 15,864 pesos. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, to do this, we would be adding first. So that's 13,285 plus 15,864. So we would be uh, doing uh, it from the ones and uh, going to the other place values after. 5 ones plus 4 ones is 9 ones. 8 tenths plus 6 tenths is 14 tenths. So 4 and then the 10 tenths will become 100. Uh, 2 hundreds plus 8 hundreds plus 1 hundreds will give me 11 hundreds. So 100 here. And then the 10 hundreds will become 1,000. 3,000 plus 1,000 plus 5,000 is 9,000. And then 1 10,000 plus 1 10,000 is 2 10,000. Now we will be subtracting that from 30,000. So 30,000 minus 29,149. Ah, so for this one, we need to uh, regroup because I cannot subtract 9 ones from 0 ones. And the only place value here that has. Um, a digit in it would be the 10,000 place value. So from there, okay, so the 3 10,000 uh, will become 2 10,000. The 1,000 from there will become 10,000. Sorry, the 1 10,000 will become 10,000. And from the 10,000, I'll get 1,000. And that will become 10 hundreds. So from the ten hundreds, I'll get one hundred and it will become ten tens. From the ten tens, I'll get one ten and it will become ten ones. So now I can finally subtract. Ten ones minus nine ones will give me one ones. One one. Nine tens minus four tens is five tens. Nine hundreds minus one hundred is eight hundred. And then 9 minus 9 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0. Therefore, the answer is 851 pesos. Another way to solve this problem, which I will call method 2, okay, would be to subtract 30,000 uh, minus the savings from each month, 15,864, okay? 
let's see if we will still get 851 pesos. So, first, subtract 30,000 minus 13,285 pesos. Alright, so just like earlier, since I cannot subtract 5 ones from nothing, I would need to regroup from the 3 ten thousands. So that will become 2 ten thousand, 1 ten thousand will become 10 thousand, and then I'll get 1 thousand there which will become 10 hundreds, 10 hundreds will become 9 hundreds, and then the 100 there will become 10 tens, and then the 1 ten will become 10 ones. Now we can subtract. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 tenths minus 8 tenths is 1 ten. 9 uh, hundreds minus 2 hundreds is 700. 9,000 minus 3,000 is 6,000. And then 2 10,000 minus 1, 1 10,000 is 1,000. Then we proceed by subtracting 16,715 pesos minus um 15,864 pesos right. so 5 minus 4 is 1 and then um 1 10 minus um 6 tenths okay that's not enough so we'd have to regroup from the hundreds place so this will become 600 the 100 will become 10 tenths 10 tenths plus 1 10 is 11 tenths 11 tenths minus 6 tenths will give me 5. Okay, so 5 tenths. And then we proceed. 600 minus um, 800. Again, it's not enough. So I would have to regroup from the thousands, please. So this one will become 5,000. And then the 1,000 there will become 10 hundreds. 10 plus 600 is 16. Okay, so 1,600 minus 800 is 800 as well. So again, the answer is still 851 pesos. So this means that she still need to save 851 pesos. All right. So that's our first problem. This is our second problem. May bought a television worth 25,679. She also bought a washing machine which cost 8,345 pesos less than the television. How much did she spend in all? So let's try to do the model for this first. So the television. is worth 25,679 pesos. The washing machine cost 8,345 pesos less than the television. So that means the washing machine will be a little less than the television. Eight thousand three hundred forty-four. So it's asking for how much she spent in all. Okay. So let's try to solve this problem by looking for the amount of the washing machine first. Okay, because we need to know that before we actually find the total amount that um may spent in all. So for that, to get the amount of washing machine, we need to subtract 25,679 minus 8,345 pesos. So 9 minus 5 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3, 6 minus 3 is um, 3. And then here, we would have to regroup because it's not enough. So this one will become 15 because we got 1 10,000. So 15,000 minus 8 will give me 7. And then 
that's 1. After which, we would have to add 17,334 pesos for the washing machine plus 25,679 pesos for the television. So that would be 4 ones plus 9 ones is 13 ones. So that would be regrouped to 1 ten. 1 ten plus 3 ten plus 7 tenths is 11 tenths. So 1 ten here and then the 10 tenths will become 100. 3 plus 6 plus 100 will give me 10 hundreds. So that's 1,000 already. So 7 plus 1 plus 5,000 will give me 13,000. And then 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4,000. After. Sorry, 4, 10,000. She spent 43,013 pesos in all. Alright, so that's it.